took this creek edge up or something. You can just you can maybe line the creek and then come up, so yeah. push up this gully here yeah. too. Yeah. And just wrap that around because like you said yeah. some are probably going to break across the valley but some will probably wrap that field. I, I imagine if I was a deer I'd probably stay right here yep. and, and work off of this re, re, that point but and kind of go across that way but we could start lining guys here and then maybe put one or two up in. I mean, this is How many are we going to have today? How many people we have? Well it's going to be nine because the one actually went to the hospital last night and his, his step or his all right, we just showed up here at the parking lot. Uh, we're still waiting for a couple guys. They're running a little late, but we got, I think, six or seven of us here so far. So we're going to, uh, a few of us are going to get started in there. We're out of post a while. We did see some deer driving in, so we already know there's some deer kind of staged up here. So optimistic. We just bumped into a local when he was, uh, you could tell he was kind of asking a lot of questions. Like he was protecting his honey holes, so we're kind of excited there might be some good stuff in here. <laughs> Whoever's driving with me, let's roll. Uh, Bryce and Jason are coming. Yeah, I don't know. Bryce kept sitting in the stand all the time. Gotta stay organized. That's how you win. Win on drives. Organized. Yep. It gets hectic. Excellence don't, doesn't come to us. We go to excellence. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Watch words from Crazy right there. Um, it's this. It's, it's a... Sick of gear, bro. Just so see good. Yeah, bro. He ain't wearing. He ain't going. He's gonna be the only one not to get one today because he wore that stupid. Yeah, picture time. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be him, and then he dumb luck into a. Into a <laughs> 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 well, I had a dollar for every time people shit on Kuyu. You know, I just gonna buy more Kuyu. You <laughs> <laughs> don't have Kuyu. Yeah, you know. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Where my he bar at, he man? borrows every gun to go hunting though. <laughs> not every gun, not anymore. <laughs> All right, I'll stay and stand, and we repositioned some other guys here. We're kind of looped up around, made this field, and uh, come back out of these pines. Kind of a reverse drive, but we just did. So I'm kind of a swing man. We came around. I stayed, and now everyone's went like this. Come back around to us. So uh, maybe we'll get some going. Tim said two went high. So uh, maybe we'll get them to come back around. Jer Jeremiah, Jeremiah Johnson. Let's go, bitch. <laughs> Mitch hooked it up, man. He, he fist bumps people. He don't want to touch people's hands. Yeah. Get, get, get good blood here. Oh, yeah. Any words with Grace, Mitch? Hey. Was it the last one I was running down? Yeah. Yeah, it looked like... Like when she was running down through, I thought I saw it was all red. Yeah, I seen it on this side. Yeah. Two deer split right here. Okay. One yeah. Going that way. One's going all right. We're going to continue tracking. See what's up. Go pack everything up. I know. Keep them moving, bro. We tracked her for a little ways at Doe I shot. Uh, got real good blood, but uh, she crossed this creek. We saw her bedded over there, so we're going back out, give her a little bit of time. I'm um, thinking she was kind of facing me, so I put it right on that shoulder. So I'm thinking I went in and out. and. Uh, so probably, probably only got one lung on her, but she's bedded up over there. So we're going to give her some time and uh, finish out the day doing some pushes, come back a couple hours and pick her up. Oh, that's a mom. You can stretch him out. Oh, I'm a... Yeah, strapped up. Yeah, man. I ain't got the power to stretch him out, though. So I'm done with that stuff. All right. Oh, you're um, a stretcher from way back, buddy. I don't know. I'll just say we get, get over here, dude.
All right, so when we're setting up, we're gonna be pushing this big hillside out. We have a nice little valley behind us. And while we're setting up here, we're gonna put somebody on the bottom. The way this point sticks out, this is easily traveled, but on this side, it gets pretty steep on the back side. So it's gonna either A, funnel them up top, which would pinch them up there. And we're gonna put most of our sitters on the high end. And we'll probably have one down here in the middle, but probably we'll put three up top. Um, we won't have Lane up there because he can't shoot worth anything. So, um, but uh, but the main main cause is they're going to stay high, my guess, or they'll bust out early and they'll come down and across. So, let's see what happens. Stay tuned. All right. Well, we are set up for our third push. Got a ridge line here and then it kind of gets real steep and rocky like almost a cliff just past me here maybe 150 yards and while the ridge is still kind of flared out right here at us we got three guys set up along it and then two guys low in the lower escape route so it should be productive we'll see what happens That drive was wild, man. We had probably 40 deer come by. Some went really high up in a no hunting area. I couldn't shoot them, but as one came in, I hope I got it on film. I think I did. The shot it dropped, and literally another 20 more came. And I was just getting reloaded, and they got behind me before I reloaded. But we got, I think we have at least five deer dead from that, all with flintlocks. <laughs> that was freaking insane. What a crazy setup. It was wild. Let's go, buddy. Flintlock two. Let's go. <laughs> dude, that was insane, dude. I have never seen so many deer on a drive in oh my, my life. Oh my God, insane, dude. We've had some good drives, but nothing like that. That was, dude, the whole mountainside was moving. Yeah. And then uh, another wave came. <laughs> it's the same amount of deer again. That was wicked, dude. Thank you for stopping my first doe. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> 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 down there going at it, and she stopped, looked down she at you. She was like, what? Yeah, she's looking down at you. I put her, the first one, I put it right in her chest. Did you? Yeah. Nice, dude. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, that went off the side, too. Or that goes to the neck. Right here. What's all this blood here? Is that just from red being back like that? I'm going to check out this deer. This is my first, this is my first flintlock kill. I have this gun made by my good friend, John Groove, they put it together for me and did a fabulous job and I finally got a deer with it. Yes! It's awesome! I never got a deer that foot locker before. I'm so jacked. Here's my gun. Showed it to you guys last year in the drive, but this is a uh, custom made 54 caliber Lancaster style flintlock. That's a Susquehannock. Washington borough in size pot. I grew up in the town of Washington borough, so I had that put on there, and that's supposed to represent the River Hills and the Susquehanna River. Some other Susquehanna influenced designs here, and we got a deer. Yes! We're on them, baby! We're killing them, man! We're getting them down! Last day of Maryland, primitive season, we're on them! Good 
first show of the year. Yeah. Next year I'll be bigger. <laughs> I think a lot of deer are gonna hold up in there. So you guys have to sneak out around, get up high, plus post down, and then float right in. Yeah. Alright. Um. Up in there, don't you? If we stay in the back, where that public wraps around the private, they end up cutting through the private and come right back into the public on this side. Right. You know what I mean? If mm -hmm. we have people staged out across this bridge, or yeah. basically right, you just kind of see. Here, yeah. I'm down. I think the lowest person should be right on this trail though because. One run now. Well, no, uh, the next one over. Nice. I can't really see them. They're gonna hang up. I think they're gonna kind of stay up more, right. more towards this the bridge side. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, yeah, agree. I think so too. I can't really, I can't really imagine them wanting to run around this trail. They want to veer from it. Mm -hmm. yeah. If anything, stay on this side of the thicket. So yeah. we'll go around this trail and then we'll start. Right up here. Yep. Let's... Well, here we are. I think this is the fourth drive. The one we just pulled off. Had a lot of shooting going on next to the here now. Plus, we have one. Uh, we, we gave it some time with the first drive, so. Possibly four gear down. Uh, so, it's been pretty good. Hopefully I get my turn here. We got Chrissy set up down here. Lane to the right. We got Melhorn up top. So uh, we bump, bump seven out of the way in here. Went back in the drive. So hopefully they bring them back out and we'll see what happens. We're going to go in here and look for this deer I hit this morning. Uh, it's probably been, I don't know, what, about five hours, I think, Tim? Yeah, probably four. Probably four, four and a half, five hours, so hopefully she's done and uh, we'll go in here and recover and have uh, another one to add to the pile. Let's go. Way to take it down, dude. Hate when they have to do that, though. Yeah. Makes you feel a little... I don't think you need to load her up. People don't know you're there. That's how the deer know we're there. It's we weird. move them. The game wardens, they come too. Yep. Uh, <laughs> masses. Uh, masses, bro. We bring them all out. All right. That's uh.